four, four, four. Use the bullet holes. What up y'all, it's your girl Brittany. We are here at the Haunted Room at the Plains Hotel in Cheyenne, Wyoming. We are in the historic room 444. We got Mike, my boo, Caitlin. So let me tell you the story of this room. This is room 444 in the historic Plains Hotel in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Rosie, so the story of this room is Rosie's a bride. Rosie and her husband had their honeymoon. This is the original honeymoon suite. And her husband goes down to the lounge, which is the bar that we were just at. <laughs> so Rosie was curious of what her husband was doing, so she walked downstairs and found him in the lounge. Unfortunately, when she found him, he was with a prostitute. So she followed him and the lady up to this very room in which she shot and killed both of them. And right now I will insert a picture of the gun hole, bullet hole, that is currently still in the window of this room. But that is the story of room 444. Four, four. Can you believe she shot herself though? Afterwards. Yeah. Please and then, <laughs> after, she went down to their other room, which I don't know why they had two rooms. She probably went to the prostitute's room. room. Yeah, she went down to the Cookers, prostitute's room Cookers, or some sort of room. thing. Anyways, that is where she shot and killed herself with the same gun that she shot both of them with. Yeah, that was a great synopsis. So there's a picture that's right up in here. So you can see like the barn's closed and there's no one there and you can see two people in the reflection sitting right here but there's no one in like the rest of the picture. I don't know. <laughs> it's a night vision <laughs> camera. It also has lights. <laughs> I saw that. How does that work? Oh, can tell it. Live stream. Do you live stream? No, no. <laughs> I am later though. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta promote it. I you want unrealistic? Oh yes. <laughs> 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 we were just talking about how when I drink, I like the most sticks and I'll go to the bar and I'll order them and like a song or something will come on that I want to watch and the drunk starts stuffing them in my pocket. <laughs> I wake up the next day with the most thrill stick in my pocket. I'll put it in better. <laughs> Oh, you're in 444? Yeah. Oh, I stayed. Yeah, I stayed in there. All of our stuff got moved. It was on my birthday. Oh, there's a camera currently recording in there. Nice. So when we when we went out that night, it was much for my birthday in September, and we decided to go out. It was close to midnight, and we got all dressed up and we left all of our uh, like our toiletries and jewelry mm -hmm. and things like that on the little coffee table. When we got back, they were in the bureau. They were in the nice. Room. Did I not say I put my hat on my bed? On the bed, and, and when then it was in she the turned other around, room. the two of us, it was sitting on the coffee table. Yeah, and see? I'm like, is, is this and your then, hat? And, he goes, and then no, that's not mine. the TV would come on or go bed. off, and the light in the bathroom no. on and off. Nice, nice. okay. So just give you those, but I mean, they're not mean or anything. No, so yeah. I've had things happen. Uh, glasses come off oh, the show. And these, yeah, they'll start clicking. The picture. 
the big picture over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then like I was standing over here, and I was like, "Oh, that was that was a right there." Wow. Over there. But yeah, these every now and again when they're active, these will start flanking back here. They just start That's moving back crazy. and forth. That's crazy. And then, like I said, uh, wine glasses. What am I doing? Hello. And when I was just setting this bar up, I was unpacking all of these glasses and I set them right here. Set them all there. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to go. And I turned around and they were all on the floor. Probably 19 glasses. Yeah, just down on the floor. And my uh boyfriend came through and he's like what did you do when he saw that it wasn't me that i was here glasses were on the floor and falling off so it was quite interesting hmm. so we've yeah we've had a yeah i've heard some really interesting stories about this room the basement yes the oh, old basement. elevator that and then Room 444 and the whole fourth floor. Yeah, 444 is amazing. Yeah, I already saw the bullet holes. I was like, whoop! Did you see this? The little story? Yeah, it's like a little story. Yeah, that's about 444. Rosie. Oh, that is her name. It's Rosie. I forgot. I looked it up. I couldn't find what she liked though. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to do lights out. Because all the lights are off. And that's going to go into night vision mode. When you walk into this room, what you feel is regret. You don't feel the hate. It's, it, you, so you're, so I'm a, a paranormal magnet. I've been my whole life. You're a paranormal magnet. What did you feel when you walked into this room? Here? Yeah. Just this time or the first time? Anytime. Lost. Lost? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt, I instantly was like regret. Like you regret something that you did that you know was really, really bad. Could be her. Or it could be him. Oh, yeah. He's the one that caused everything. I mean, yeah, she gone psychotic by killing them both and killing herself. But he caused it by cheating on her on their honeymoon night. <clears throat> Which is enough to make anything psychotic if you ask me. I just want to take out my Riley stuff, so. <laughs> So we're going to do what's called a EVP, which is an electronic voice phenomenon. Shit talk, smell like booze. Does it do it? We keep blinking. The light. Mm -hmm. So I have what the twist light, where you just touch it. So you know, like the yes no mm -hmm. machine. So that's why I bought that one. What the fuck are you? If you were here, can you dim the light again? Rosie. All right, so I'm going to start my EVP session since we were already in that could be oh, <laughs> on the machine. So I have bought what's called like a yes no light. So it's not technically named a yes no light. So a yes no machine is where it's a machine where it's easily manipulated to say yes or no. If you buy one of these lights where it has the See? If you buy one of these lights that have the dimmer, the dimmer switch that's easily dimmed, you can manipulate that to be a yes no. Mm -hmm. So I bought one of these lights, which is unfortunate because usually it doesn't show on camera whether it dims or not unless it's like a high dim. But what matters is this isn't this is just proof for you the can, internet. You can see it's it. still talking. You this can is see it proof happen. for the internet, but it's more self self proof that you need. Mm -hmm. You know, so you're not, you know, you're not crazy. So I'm going to start. EVP session number one. All right, so during an EVP session, the goal is to not move, to not talk too much, and just be still as calm as possible. Right now, we're going to be using the EVP to reset to get a response from Rosie, her husband, or the prostitute, and then also the dinner light. That was the heater. Oh, the fridge, okay. So, right now, we're just going to ask questions and try to get a response from it. And it's already giving it. 
Rosie, if that's you, can you please dim it as low as possible? She's definitely dimming it. Is this the spirit of Rosie this the, or the prostitute? Or the husband? If you are Rosie, keep it bright. Do the prostitute dim it? If you're the husband, dim it. They got like super bright. It's like all three of them are kind of having a response. Mm -hmm. So I see that you are here. I see that you are active. I see that you are getting the light. So right here, I have what's called an EVP. And it's short for electronic voice phenomena. So if you speak loud and clear, we will hear you through this right here device. And if you don't trust this right here device, you are more than free to speak into that device. So we're going to ask you a series of questions. We'll start with Rosie. What provoked you to do such unspeakable acts? Is cheating so bad that it resulted in three lives? See how it's being pulled in? To the prostitute, did he tell you what was going on before he wrote you into the scenario, which in the end result resulted in your death? Did you know that he was here in his own room? Did you know that he was married? Or were you just in it for the money? And was the money really worth it? attempting to dim the light again, what I need is an actual verbal response. Can you move anything? If you are actively in this room, can you knock on this wall just like this? Finish this for me. If you need to take energy from anything in this room, whether it be cell phones, TVs, I mean, you got plenty of electronic devices to take energy from. I am granting you permission. As for, I am also granting you permission to move stuff, touch me, feel me, do anything you need to do to present yourself. Now the rumor of this hotel is that you have never checked out. Can you show that you are still here? Can you hear like talking? Can you hear like talking? Can you hear me the window? Like there's talking. Like I'm hearing like someone talking. <coughs> I heard her and say no to you once already. I feel like I'm with you. Should we move the camera? Almost like some kind of response is coming from something. Like I'm hearing speaking like yeah, it was so pretty on the phone. So I'm gonna hand this to Mike. And we're gonna move into the room in which you were shot. And killed. Who is in here with us? Who have we been getting a very distinct response from? 
Is it distinct enough? Can you be loud? So, is that it or No, I'm talking. Like, I heard mumbling. Like how? In the back. But I could not make out what it was. Like, I'm sitting here peeing, and... Uh, yeah, I sat down to pee. Whatever. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I could hear her. Yes. <laughs> but there's like a mumbling sort of sound in the background. She just wants to move it. So... Basically, all I know. So you heard something in the bathroom. So you were not, not necessarily wait, wait. that I heard were something. Were you talking in the bathroom? Fuck no. Who were you talking to? Were you talking to? So we heard people yeah, talking. I, was, sounded, I wasn't on my phone. It sounded like someone was talking in the bathroom. I was not on my phone. So you guys, like, like, the emotions of, like, the end of the movie? Or was it like a regret? I, the room really doesn't do anything to me, but I feel, the colors make me sad. The colors make me sad of the room. The Western colors? No, no I think you're just trying to be... No, I am totally, sad. like, on the other side of okay. y'all. So, Josh here is a skeptic, 100%. Yes. He just heard... Voices in the bathroom. I wouldn't say voices. I would say I heard. Mumbling. mumbling. What sounded like mumbling? As you're talking, I can hear you clear as day. In between, there's just muffled, mumble, can't make sense out of anything other sounds. It's not as it's not like they're loud. Right. It's quiet. Yeah. Right. Right. We have our skeptic Josh here who just heard mumbling in the bathroom and he doesn't believe in any of this. But yet at the same time that we heard something like voices speaking to each other, we thought it was him in the bathroom. At that exact same time, he was hearing mumbling in the bathroom. Right? Phone. Is your phone making noise? Where is your phone? Stop. No, don't move. So we're going to go explore a little bit and we're going to leave this on while we're gone.